Hi Blair, can you introduce yourself and tell me what you've been doing in the past year? Of course, I'm Blair McIntyre. Um, I'm currently studying uh, architecture, masters at RGU in Aberdeen. And for the past year I've been working as an intern in Malmo in Sweden. That's great. Uh, can you tell me how you got your position? Yeah, well initially I sent out a number of CVs, both hard copy and digitally. Uh, and it was actually through a contact asking a friend of a friend that I so I followed up that contact and I got the role, went over for an interview and, yeah. So what kind of work did you do in your role? Um, well, I, I guess initially it was the, you know, the, the regular intern work, but it just so happened that my practice was a, a smaller, medium-sized practice, so I actually was thrown in the deep end and did quite a number of different things. Um, so when, when you're doing these number of things and stuff, can you tell me about those experiences and the challenges you faced professionally um, working in a different country compared yeah. to what you're used to here? Well, I mean, the, the first is quite obvious, really. It's the, uh, the language barrier was uh, initially a huge, huge uh, challenge to overcome. But uh, I actually spent a bit of time learning. You know, I got the CD-ROMs and I uh, spent a bit of time trying to, trying to learn Swedish. Um, and had I not done that, I think I would have found it a little bit more difficult because... Having done that, I recognised the words and what people were saying during uh, meetings and when I was reading drawings, so that was highly beneficial. Yeah, you said earlier on that people in the office would speak away in English, but yeah, when it came right. to just reading, reading yeah. things and stuff, you were you and, would have you been know, lost. It, it, I'm sure you can understand that people make an effort to speak in English, but they also forget, and you, then you have to be involved and pick that up. Okay, so there, there are professional things you felt you had to deal with, but what about socially and culturally? What, what did you struggle with there or anything that you would suggest to people applying abroad? Yeah, well, initially, when, in my case, I kind of just up and went when I got the job. Um, so I was, that was thrown in at the deep end as well. So I basically just packed up and went to Malmo. Um, and culturally, it took a bit of getting used to it. Yeah, um, they kind of a bit more reserved in how they deal within the office, you know, so people don't say exactly um, what they might feel or they don't want to upset you in any way, but for me, I, I find it difficult, I, I would rather just be told, you know, that's not correct or uh, can you do it in a different way. You're far more direct. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so when you first arrived there, you, you said earlier that you stayed in a hostel, that is something yeah, you would recommend? That, yeah, of course, that, that was one of the, the great things actually because um, I was lucky in, in that a lot of other students and people were moving to Malmo at the same time, it was around the same time of year, um, and they were also looking for places to stay and things to do, people, meet, trying to meet people. So that was a great, uh, and I would really recommend actually um, moving into a hostel for a couple of weeks before, um, because it, it gets you sort of social circle and you get to learn the cultural differences because there's a lot of you know, local people in the hostels as well. Um, and that was a great stepping stone in, tr into, into um, the Malmo culture. So, for this passport portal, is there anything that you think we should include as a useful tool to both employers and future graduates? Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, in terms of employers, I think the, uh, the one thing that I found a bit of disparity between was my, my employer in particular didn't fully understand, you know, as a, a REBA part one, what exactly it was that I was to do in the office and the sort of targets that I had to meet. So, if there could be some sort of... Um, area where they could go and find out this information uh, would be great and, al and also they would get to you know see the, the enthusiastic students that really want to work abroad so that would be a great avenue to explore. Great thank you very much for your time Blair. You're welcome.